How's it going? Um, it's my third vlog, and I think I'm going to be doing these about once a week. I think that's probably a pretty good schedule for me. Again, I'm just letting the camera roll. I'm not editing these. I just uh, wanted to turn it on and see where it goes with a couple basic thoughts in my mind and just riff on them and hopefully bring some insight, some value to anybody who's watching. Got a little bit of different background today because I was trying it out something different. And what's been on my mind this week is hate and anger, specifically being fueled by those emotions. When I first started out, this is before, you know, this is back in 2003, this is before Facebook and Twitter and Instagram, this is before MySpace and Friendster or anything like that. Social media wasn't even a term yet. You know, the only way you'd be social online was through forums of different websites and things. So I think I was probably a member of <clears throat> four or five different websites and I would visit new sites like Bloody Disgusting and those types of sites. So there were horror fans out in the community that were conversing just in a different way than we do now. And I was unknown. Nobody knew what Fright Rags was, uh, aside from a very, very small group of people. But in general, no one knew the company or me or anything. So it was a bit of a struggle because I didn't have the tools like we have today. And it was, it was harder to build a following. So it took a lot of work, hours and hours and hours a day to, to just keep pushing when really no one knows who you are. And I would get up every morning. I had an elliptical in my apartment at the time. And I would go on there for about 40, 45 minutes, work up a sweat. And I would get on my computer and I would check forums and see what people are talking about. And at the time, there really weren't a ton of companies doing what I do. But I remember one company starting the same time that I did. And it was Horror Shirts, excuse me, <coughs> not editing this, HorrorShirts.com run by Sean Clark. And if those of you watching probably know Sean now is a major, uh, he's a promoter, manager of, of tons of celebrities. And at the time, I knew him on forums, and he had uh, had this other site called creepyshit.com, and he was in the community a lot more than I was, definitely more of, of an active member, and he had, had silver champagne novelties, he sold masks and things. And I didn't have anything against him, I mean, I didn't know him. I did hear through a mutual friend that I think he had had some words about me and, and Fright Rags when we first started. I don't know how true that was, but... For whatever reason, that stuck with me. And it really, it really kind of, I honed in on that and I said, you know what, F that. I'm, you know, screw him, screw this whole thing. And I, and not to mention that he was also getting a lot more press than I was on these websites. So he had more exposure. And I would wake up every morning and, and just use that as like this, this fuel to push me, to get me going, to be like, no, you're gonna do it, you're gonna make it, you're gonna push this company, you're gonna be bigger, you're gonna be better. And it, was, it wasn't just him and it wasn't just that, it was, it was other things. And of course I had a passion for what I was doing, it was just, that was this burning fuel. And I would use that and you know, I'd get on an elliptical and I would just, it would just burn in me. And it really pushed me. And I was thinking about it, about how, you know, over the years that sort of dissipated. I mean, Sean and I are friends now. I'm not, that's, that's not even a, a thing anymore. <laughs> um, but I, I think of it as a space shuttle. You know, if you watch a space shuttle launch, you've got this relatively small shuttle in these huge rockets, like the big red one and then the two rocket boosters on the side. And when, if you notice, that's what it needs to get away from the Earth's gravitational pull. Once it gets out in the space and in the upper atmosphere, it loses those things. The, the rockets, it loses, it loses the big, the big ass red, you know, uh, fuel, it just loses all that. <coughs> Excuse me. So 
it gets out into space, it doesn't need those things. It needs fuel for the jets that are on the shuttle, but that huge amount of fuel and boost, it doesn't need anymore. And I thought about that. I, I think using hate, or more anger than hate, using that anger as a fuel, I think can be helpful sometimes, but I don't think it's a sustainable resource. I don't think it's a, a renewable sort of resource or a sustainable type of, of fuel for anything that you do, starting a business or any goal that you want to achieve. I, I, it, it, you have to do it for other reasons. And, and clearly I had other reasons for doing what I was doing, but that hate definitely was like this nitrous boost that would get me going. And I don't think that's necessarily bad, especially in the beginning, to have that sort of your eyes set on something. And, and yeah, you could argue I have a tiger and all those things, but honestly, I think to sustain, especially something like a business where you grow and you get customers and employees and it becomes more complex. If I woke up every morning, you know, wanting to fight somebody and being angry about something, I, I don't, it just wouldn't work. You have to find another way. And I'm really happy that I, I did that. And to be honest, I'm still a very competitive person. I don't think this takes away from that competitive spirit. I like to compete. This is, it's, it's, a game, you know, it's, it's a comp, you know, to me, I see part of it as a competition, but moreover, I found my passion and my drive coming from wanting to just be the best I could be in the service we can provide in what we can do for our customers and as a group of employees, what we can do together and how the people that work with me are treated and how the environment and the culture is in the bigger picture. And it became more about the bigger picture than it was aiming it at one particular person or series of events or anything like that. So I know it seems like everyone's so angry these days. I mean, I don't know, it's amped up all over online and everything. And I just feel like if we could let go of some of that hate, it would be great. And I know I've, I've talked about that before, but certainly in using that anger as a fuel for something, I just don't think it's as sustainable as people might think it is. Take care.